I know, it's kind of a goofy song, but uh, I'm in a goofy mood. Hey, it's the weekend. Yep. I'm Cindy. Cindy Dole's my name. Home Wizards, the show where we love to have a little laugh while we talk about ways to just feel better at home. And that's what we do. Hope you're having a good day and that you're feeling good where you live. And if you're not, uh, just keep tuning in because we're going to get you there. We promise. 888-539-2980 is the number. And you know what? I've got some ideas I wanted to share for you. But before I get to those ideas, I want you to share your ideas with me or at least your questions with me. Uh, if you don't want to call in, you can always email me, cindy at cindydole.com. Or you can also check me out on Facebook where we keep the conversation going throughout the week. Just go to Facebook forward slash follow Cindy where we talk about all things home and garden. And uh, I love to hear the topics that you want to hear about. And so when you uh, email or check in, we make it happen here on the air. So someone emailed me and said, hey, can you give me some great project ideas for less than 100 bucks?" And I said, well, let's do it even better than that. How about less than 50 bucks?" And I always love to, to look at my place and find ways to uplift where I am. And I'm sure you want the same thing. You know, a sense of new, uh, a fresh twist. But it kind of helps when it's something that's going to also save some money, right? We want more bang for the buck. And I always am checking out websites and magazines. And I found a really good one here. And I'm going to share it with you right now because designers from all over the country have shared some of their faves uh, with Better Homes and Gardens. And so I'm going to go through 50 50 ways to save and find some new design ideas in your home. So first, in the living room, something to put your feet on makes a big difference. I love in our living room, we have these little ottomans. To put your feet up makes huge, huge comfort difference. Well, now the poof is all the rage. And you can actually make your own poof with burlap and fabric scraps as filler. And if you go to Better Homes and Gardens website, which is bhg.com and forward slash poof, P-O-U-F, they have all the construction uh, instructions right there. So check it out. Here's another one. Pillows in block print fabrics. And can you believe this? You can paint on fabric using stencils. This is very, very cool. The website is called royaldesignstudio.com. They sell the stencils and they're in all kinds of gorgeous, bold shapes and designs. One has this Moroccan vibe to it and then on the website they have the how to's as well and you stencil using these little things to stay in the lines on the fabric and you use a, a water-based paint and then the stencil helps create the shading and the color variations by swirling through the stencil. So check out the website royaldesignstudio.com. Very cool. Now here's an idea that I think is always summer fresh and timeless. Add a wicker chair to your room any room and maybe even spray paint a surprise color to it so now you've got extra seating and an element of surprise that's kind of fun and with every chair think about a place to put a drink down for goodness sakes right and I love this idea of bringing the outdoors in your instant side table in the form of a porcelain garden stool so many of them out there you can find them in garden centers you can find them in some of the um, home decor discount stores I love home goods you name fill in the, na the name you get a good one right there under 50 bucks boom how about mirrors? They always add light and give um, room a sense of space. If you haven't done this yet over the mantle, consider hanging a mirror with a large ribbon. It looks very, very fun and chic. Or how about an oversized urn? I think they're always great uh, by the mantle. And then think of pairs because that's going to give your, your room a sense of purpose and unity. And don't be afraid of trying a really bold color here, like apple green or this bright uh, Asian red. You know, fill in the gaps. You got it. Instead of a single coffee table, how about two inexpensive side tables you can find in Ikea or anywhere? Great idea. Or how about one of these galvanized metal trays? You've seen them. They're at uh, hardware stores or at decor stores, whatever. Use it as your magnet board and hang it on the wall, and now you've got an instant place to display family photos and kids' artwork. Very, very cute. Baskets. I have them everywhere. They're very handy, but here's some ways specifically so you aren't just overloading on baskets. Think about one in the foyer area. You can use it as the catch-all for things that need to be put away. In the office, I have this. It's a great idea for a mini trash can. In the bedroom, how about for holding books and magazines and throws and pillows? But then the bathroom, you see this. I've seen this at like hair salons and in hotels. Use a large basket, and then that's where you load up all the spare toilet paper. You go right from Costco to the basket in the bathroom and it looks really kind of elegant. You fill it with about a dozen rolls of toilet paper. Who knew? How about making your shower curtain uh, or your duvet look more elegant by having it monogrammed? You can do this for under 50 bucks. Just take it to a custom embroidery shop. Boom, you're done. 
And then about uh, the patios or the decks or the porches after dark, don't forget, I always do this, getting some of those holiday lights, not like you have Christmas lights, but the cute little white decorative lights or lanterns. I have a string of firefly lights and also dragonfly lights. You can find them anywhere, Target, you name it. Looks so cute, and it's a great way to have that summertime, year-round outdoor living look. Here's the thing. Um, if you're thinking about painting, instead of thinking of worrying about painting an entire room, try just to paint the ceiling a color, a new color. And in the bedroom, uh, try a blush of pink on the bedroom ceiling. It really is a, a great way to warm the room instantly. Dish towels. This is an inexpensive way to add a pop to the kitchen. Great towels. You can find them at World Plus Market. Or how about checking the bathroom accessory aisles? I didn't think about this until I saw it, but now I'm going to go do it this weekend. You know those little accessory aisle areas where they have toilet tank top trays? They're kind of narrow and, and rectangular. Or fingertip towel boxes? You're going to use them now for the remote control and the keys. How about that? Or don't forget a core bell. It's a clever way to now all of a sudden in a room have an instant little pop of color, paint it a bright color, and then you can put a little vase there, an accessory. Love that. Here's a new take on a bulletin board. You have your lampshade, but now just get some handy-dandy twine and wrap it around the lampshade in a crisscross pattern, and now you can tuck in pictures and all of your paper mementos. Very, very cool. Picture ledges, they make a great way to display art. You just use a, a small mirror, frame photos, you swap them out as you like. Stenciling a wall, we talked about stencils uh, for pillows. It's also a great way to decorate the walls, and it's less expensive than wallpaper, stenciling the walls. Don't forget uh, using big, uh, chunky jewelry on hooks that are hung on the wall. So now your jewelry becomes bling or wall art. And don't forget also to paint the drawer fronts, just the drawer fronts of an old dresser that you may have that you collected or picked up at a garage sale. Use glossy white, and then it gives it this instant style, and it adds also a, a great look, especially if you have some new hardware to it. Faux flowers, they're back big time, and they're so much better. Take a couple in a bowl, pop it in a bookcase so people won't notice they're fake. And how about accentuating a bookcase or built-ins by painting the back panels with a contrasting color? Cool project, really easy way especially if you have white shelves, but the back part of the shelf is like, let's say, a deep blue, or you name, fill, fill in the, the blanks, whatever your color you like. It gives it a great pop. Oh, for your bookshelves. Remove the jackets on the books, and then group the books as is by color in an upright position, or you put them, um, stacking them up, and it's going to look really organized, and it looks very artistic, all blue books, all white books, you get the idea. And then sneak in another light source into the room by hanging picture lights on shelving. Don't forget the metal label holders. You can put those on your bookshelf, and it gives it a look of an old-fashioned file cabinet. And have you heard about maybe there's a card that you couldn't throw away? Well, there's some great ways to use them as decoration. You can put them in a frame or perch it on a little easel. Boom, now you've got art. Roll paper, it can make a big statement, especially if you try it this way. It's dress up door, uh, doors, give a paneled closet door or cabinet a lift by papering the recessed areas, or use it as liner, or maybe even make it art. Fill a bare wall with a grid of frame wallpaper. For 50 bucks, you can find it. Uh, here's a great website, Pages to Frame. That's a great one. Um, you can also use that wallpaper to wrap around some of these old books. Again, it's going to look so cool. You embellish and cut and fold the book jackets from wallpaper to coordinate with your room decor. Oh, so many great ideas. Or buy inexpensive round mirrors. Look for a set of them and then create a dramatic installation on the wall above the mantel. Don't forget to stack bundles of logs in the fireplace in the off season. It gives the room a beautiful natural look. And fill a glass lamp base with seashells or wine corks and pine cones and then during the holidays you can put Christmas ornaments in there whatever you love and you can find these fillable glass lamp bases at art supply stores Target you name it here's a great one you can find uh, art you can collect on a budget the website is called Etsy.com E-T-S-Y.com or 20by200.com we only got to 38 but I'll have more for you next Saturday 50 ways to spruce up your home for under 50 bucks coming up next Saturday everything you want wanted to ask about tomatoes. We're going to have the tomato king with us and then sprinklers. How to really make sure that your your front yard, your backyard is is not thirsty anymore, but you're saving water. Home Wizards next Saturday, 2 to 4. Have a great weekend. Hope you can try these ideas. Check it out. Email me at cindydole.com. And until next time, remember this, the key is under the mat. Bye-bye.